going to talk about saving the world, which I usually am averse to because of all the false hero archetypes that it invokes. But if we're going to even think in those terms, rather than all these technocratic solutions, and, and I mean, these, these are not unimportant, but if they don't have the foundation of compassion, if they're not tapping into this wellspring of energy that animates all of these things and generates the courage for us to, to adopt those technocratic solutions, say regenerative agriculture or, um, you know, prison abolition <laughs> or uh, cleaning up the water or the air. I mean, if, we're, if, 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 if it's not animated from, by and, and drawing from the, the wellspring of compassion that brings us to courage. I mean, what is courage, really? We can talk about uh, being from the heart, but what has to happen for us to really act from the heart? Some kind of healing has to happen. So, so, and without courage, by definition, we are serving ourselves in a very narrow sense, serving our safety as we can perceive it. That's the opposite of courage. So we need on this planet a lot of courage right now. 